Hi, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to this DigiCast. Now seeing that the new Mac operating system, which is Mac OS X version 10.12, also known as Sierra, is due to be released on the 20th of September. This video will be focused on important tips as well as functions need to be done prior to the installation or upgrade to Sierra. Now before we dive into the upgrade, we need to check if our Mac does meet the system requirements to run the new Mac OS 10.12. Also checking if our third party applications will be compatible within the Sierra environment. So to check if our Mac will be compatible, we can go to our Apple in the top left hand corner and under about this Mac, it will specify our model as well as our year of its release. And we can compare this to the list that is stated below. So if our year release is not within or after, our Mac will not be compatible to the new upgrade. Also, it will be specified under the App Store within the Updates tab as an upgrade option. Also in the same window, it's very important that all of our Mac applications as well as applications purchased within the App Store is up to date. Now when it comes to our third party applications which were not purchased or downloaded within the App Store, we can do the updates of those applications within the application itself. Now, after all my updates are complete, I can go ahead and check if any of my third party applications will be compatible to Sierra. Now to do that, I can go to my web browser and I can go to the site called roaringapps.com and within the web page, I can type the name of the application, which will then indicate if that application is compatible or not. In my case, I will type in Microsoft Office and I'm running version 2016. It will then show me that it is working fine. I can go further and look at other applications as well, or I can go straight to the Hey Sierra and under view Mac OS apps, will then specify all the known apps as well as its compatibility through the legend specified. Now, after being comfortable with knowing that my third party apps are compatible, I can start looking at doing some maintenance. Now, if I go to my spotlight search and type in DISK, which will then take me into my disk utility. And within my disk utility, I can select my Macintosh HD and click on first aid. Now this will do a basic disk repair on my hard drive of my machine. So it will then show me that it's busy doing it as well as I can see the progress of my disk repair. So after the disk repair is done, it will say operation is successful. So after I've done, it is advised to do a time machine backup of your entire system. So I can go to my system preferences and under my time machine, I can now set up my time machine and I can start doing my time machine backups by clicking on the icon on my menu bar and saying backup now. The other option which is more advised is to use a application like Carbon Copy Cloner, which will not only backup information, but also your entire operating system. So you can always revert back if something does go wrong to Sierra. Now Carbon Copy Cloner is a purchasable app. However, there is a trial which we can use as well. So if we want to get it, we can go to the website called bombage.com and we will see that there's the 30 day trial download option. Now I can download the software, run it and do a clone of my entire machine onto an external hard drive. The software is quite user friendly and it's very easy to understand. So those are the important tips as well as points need to be done prior to the installation of our Mac. So as we mentioned that it's first to check the compatibility of our Mac then to check the compatibility of our third party apps, to check the updates of our Mac as well as our third party apps, and then to do a disk maintenance with either using our disk repair, and finally to do a 
time machine backup as well as a clone of my entire system. So I hope that you find this checklist useful. Thank you for watching this episode with me, Angela Martin. Hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.